but it's an illustration to show that the, the more you exercise, the stronger that heart gets. And when it's strong, it, it doesn't have to beat much because every beat is so strong with the delivery of blood. It is said we only have so many beats per lifetime. So you can see the fitter the person, the, the longer the life. And I'd like to suggest the better quality of life because of what exercise does to the body. So pace, progressive acceleration of cardiopulmonary. So there's the lungs. And it was in that book and other books where, where he quoted the study on the Framingham study. So you can prevent that lung capacity loss by exercising every day. And if you've lost it, you can regain it by the high intensity exercise. So progressive acceleration of cardiopulmonary exertion. You are exerting yourself. There's the pace. But what I'm ever thankful to Doug McGuff for is he takes you inside the cell. So I'm going to take you inside the cell now. So here's the cell. We've looked at the cell a few times this week. And the glucose goes in. It goes through a 20-step pathway. And the 20-step pathway gives us two units of energy. The end result of the 20-step pathway is a chemical form of glucose called pyruvate. The chemical form of glucose called pyruvate is fed into the powerhouse, called the powerhouse because this eight-step pathway delivers to us an impressive 36 units of energy. We looked at the fact that this is an anaerobic pathway. Anaerobic pathway is the 20-step pathway, meaning no oxygen. It produces energy by the process of fermentation, whereas the eight-step pathway is an aerobic pathway because it uses oxygen. We also had a look at the fact that when excess glucose is going in, it's stored little, like a little bunch of grapes, and they're, they're little bunches of, glu of, um, of glucose just waiting there. And I'm sure they were used on your morning walk, on my morning exercise this morning, because we only gave you broth last night. And as you start to move that body, the only time this could be interfered with is if you started to walk without drinking water. And we're going to look at water in a minute after the break. It's vital that you drink water. One lady said to me, I won't be able to walk in the morning because I faint. And I said, well, do you have water? She said, no, I don't like water. <laughs> when well, well, you've got to have water, the, body's, the body needs its water. But when you drink that water in the morning and then go on your walk and your body is starting to, to uh, work, it needs more fuel, those little molecules of glucose are plucked and through the pathway, plucked and through the pathway. It's a wonderful process. We also looked at the fact that on a very high carbohydrate diet, the excess glucose, when the glycogen stores are full, is stored as fat. <laughs> 